and go. All done. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but I've used what I had lying around. And function over aesthetics. So I'm going to go have something to eat now and then um, come back and get this one out and this one in. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do before I bring this other one outside um, is I'm going to lift this. Um, the only problem is the other one is slightly shorter um, because of the length of the board. Um, which shouldn't make too much difference. I'll get these pots moved. I'm using the GoPro um, to video it rather than the camera because it's raining and this is waterproof so I'll get the GoPro on and we'll get stuck in There we go, not sitting quite perfect but it's close enough, so next thing is I need to wait for a little bit dry because I've got a pile of soil down here behind the logs. This is what's going to fill that bed. I've also got a bit of manure there. Um, so I'm just debating whether to start doing it now or if it's too wet. Probably too wet, but I might have a go. Just because I'm impatient. Um, so I'll start getting that done. And then once that's filled, I'm going to dig up. That's going to be six wide. It's going to run flush down the side of the beds all the way down. Um, so that'll be the next job. But for now, I'll see if I can um, get some of this filled, see how wet the soil is.
I know he's probably sitting at home there thinking, is she mental or what? Um, doing that on the second barra. As you can see, it's barely touched. Uh, it's it's going to take a bit. But it is worth it because every single one of these beds, that's what we did. And as you can see, there's no prolific reoccurring, reoccurring weeds. There's you know, odd bits of grass, just pull straight out. When you do find a weed, there's one there. Can you see it? They're all just new ones and they just come straight out. Um, I'm not impressed with this green manure. I'm not impressed at all. Could be the weather we've had. But, you know, that's what our weather's like. So, uh, um, yeah, and again in this bed, one tiny new weed comes straight out. So, yes, it's hard work now, but in the long run, it saves a massive amount of back ache, even though my back's not going to snap. Got to be done though. Right, I've added some wood chippings and some compost into the mix. Um, I reckon about another three, possibly four wheelbarrows. Should finish it up because I want to get it quite full because it's going to sink as it settles. Um, so, yeah. Crack on and see how we do. Oh, I added the wood chippings which came from the tree that used to be there. Remember that? Um, because, mainly because, I opened a bag up the other day and it was just full of lovely worms. So that's what I want. I want this bed to basically be like a giant wormery for the next couple of months until the plants go in. It should be spot on. So, right, I'll get some more seven done. And we'll come back when I'm done. Right, that's going to have to do us for the day. This wind's really picking up now. And um, I've just felt rain. So that'll do. And you know, I wouldn't mind the wind if blew in a flipping north easterly direction because at least there'd be some good fishing to do. But it's not flipping westerlies, which is no good to us. Um, so anyway, I'll probably get some more done tomorrow as long as it doesn't rain too hard. Um, but that's not bad. That would probably do it then top it up again in the um, spring ready for planting so I'll get everything tidied up put away and that's me for the day um, there you go one new raised bed not bad for a day's work